What's up you guys? So part one was pretty crazy. We can all agree part one was crazy. And this is another thing. Somebody put in the comments that some some about the shoes. Look, this is the thing. So I'm combining all my shoes into one custom, right? So of course it's not going to be that very aesthetic look, but it's gonna be different. That's the whole goal is we're trying to mix a lot of customs into one pair of shoes, right? So part one was crazy. So are y'all ready for part two? I'm ready for part two. I am so ready. So with all that being said, hopefully you enjoyed today's video, but let's go to part two. So you guys, you already know what we gotta do. We gotta take the factory finish off the shoes. That's the very, very first step. So the very first custom we're doing is the Burberry Custom. This was an all-time favorite. I'm not gonna lie, this is up there with the Tiger Air Force One. Like the Burberry Custom was clean. I think I actually showed y'all how to do this. I think I put it in like a tutorial um, showing you exactly how to do this Burberry design. And to be honest, you guys, y'all gonna see something that I kind of did. Like, I kind of messed up on. You gotta just keep watching because I low key messed up. If you know now, then you know, but I messed up. And I'm gonna tell y'all exactly where I did it at. So as I was doing the Burberry design, I saw that I was only supposed to do half brown and then the other half cream. I couldn't believe I did that. I had to go back in and like tape off one half and then paint the other half cream. And that just shows you, you guys, like if you mess up on a shoe, do not feel bad. Do not throw away the shoe. No, just try to fix it. And all I did was just paint cream over top of that brown. So next step is basically what I'm doing is painting like the gray stripe. Like, well not stripes, but it's like the gray blocks. Cause like Burberry has brown, cream, gray, red, navy blue. It has those colors, right? And then also too, if you're doing this design at home, if you mess up, like as you see right there, as I did, uh, I'm messing up a pretty penny. I mean, I'm messing up a little lot on this custom, but I just go back and fix it. You know, I just make the lines cleaner cause you can do the exact same thing, you know? So now I'm painting the navy blue. So after we got the gray laid down, now it's time for the navy blue. And essentially, I just did the same thing. I just uh, taped it up and then just painted within like the blocks to make the um, the pattern. Also, too, if you're doing this at home, don't be afraid if the paint kind of like when you take the tape off. Like you see areas where like the paint really didn't the tape didn't stay on the shoe right because it's, ha it's happened to me more than a handful of times. And basically, what I do afterwards is I t when I take the tape off, then I just kind of go in and just fix it. Really, that's all I really do. So the next step is we're gonna be actually painting red, like painting a red block with red line. And that's essentially what ties like the whole Burberry custom together is after you paint like that red stripe. I don't, I don't wanna say stripe. I really wanna say, yeah, stripe. We can just say stripe. So the next custom is very simple. Basically what I did on a pair of Jordan 1s is I just took like one Posca marker and I outlined the shoe. So basically I'm doing this to this Air Force One for the uh, front part of the toe. I wanna say the outer toe box basically. And basically, um, all, I said basically twice. <laughs> so all I'm doing is just outlining the shoe with the orange Posca marker. Um, this was a very simple, simple custom I did on a pair of Jordan 1s. So I thought it'd be cool to put it on here too as well. So the next design is, y'all gotta guess it. Guess it real quick, hurry up, guess it, guess it, guess it, before I do it. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. The next one is definitely Gucci. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Malin, that was like the first video that really kind of took off for me as far as the YouTube algorithm and whatnot. So I had to bring it back, especially for this video. So that's what I'm doing is I'm painting like the Gucci, uh, the three stripes, the green, red, 
and green on the inside of Air Force Ones. I know right here it looks a little crazy, but all you have to do really is just keep painting over and over green. Cause for some reason you need multiple coats of green for it to really start, like, I don't know, for the colors to really start popping basically. And uh, that's all based I'm doing right here. It's just going back over it um, multiple times, multiple coats. Okay, so after the green, the next step, of course, is red. And basically, we're just gonna paint this part red. And we just got like our little small detail brush. And I know that you see like some of the green is, you know, smearing to the left or it's not really blocked in. Basically, I'm gonna do is just paint over top of the green with the red and it'll just cover it up as the coats go on. here i actually did like the drip with the posca markers but i'm not going to actually do the drip on this because it, it would just like throw it off especially with the burberry and then the gucci right here so basically i'm gonna do is just paint the top part the lace part just that green that i use and that'll be it we'll keep it simple for the uh toe lace part design we're doing is we're actually bedazzling the middle like the inside part of the air force one so you guys i actually did a lot of that off camera <laughs> so the bedazzles are there and so basically what i'm doing with this one is i'm actually doing like the fabric custom if you remember that i did like a fabric custom and i thought this would be look cool on a swoosh right with the gucci so um make sure i'm heat setting that and then we're moving on to the next custom. So next custom is a flame like design on the swoosh. Um, that's what I did with the flame custom. So I just brought it back with the swoosh, you know what I'm saying? So you can't go wrong. And it, this was simple. I mean, all you do is yellow and then like on the outskirts, orange. You know, some real slight. So you guys, there we have it. Custom, all-in-one, Xavier Kicks, what the Xavier Kicks shoes. Like, these came out dope. Like, this one, probably is my favorite. I need y'all to comment down what is your favorite custom. Is it the first part, is it the second part? I need to know, let me know. But look, the comic book is hard though. That's what I would say. The comic book is hard, but this one, like I said, this one takes a cake. I mean, I don't know how the blue and the, all that just go together. So with all that being said, hopefully y'all enjoyed these two-part um, custom, you know, where we did, 
all the customs in the one, and it's still more customs that I left out. So you guys may do a part three in the future. I don't know. We may. May do a pair of Jordans. I don't know. That would be cool though. So with all that being said, this your boy Xavier Kicks. Hope you all having a great, fantastic day. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, hopefully, I mean, hopefully, I mean, God, please. Catch y'all in the next video. Peace.